Hi guys, today I have the wonderful white tape in my hand because I want to show you how different placement of the lines can shape your body shape differently. So in every example I will be using the same black dress and this wonderful white tape. Let's start with Muller Liar Optical Illusion and here you can see different lines. Hmm, different lines, you think so? Bam, bam, bam! You see that they are exactly the same length, but the line with inward pointing arrows looks the longest. So here we are talking about optical illusions. Now let's check fashion optical illusions and what we can create with different placement of the lines. Number one, vertical line. Here I'm showing you two same size rectangulars, however the one on the right divided in the half appears to look a little bit slimmer and longer. Doesn't it? Suppose. Let's check this example on the dress. So you can see that here I'm wearing the same dress, just the one on the right is divided with vertical line in the middle. Vertical line divides body in two parts, creating the slimming effect. If one vertical line has slimming effect, what if I would place a lot of vertical lines? Let's see. The closer they are spaced together, the slimmer and longer effect is created. So therefore, the rectangular on the left looks slimmer and longer. Now, let's check the result with the dresses. And here you can see the one on the left looks wider, because the wider the lines, the more heavy the effect. The second category of the lines, and here I am talking about horizontal lines. Let's see what illusion can single horizontal line create. Again. Same size as rectangulars, the one on the right is divided by horizontal line. The horizontal line makes our eye travel along with width rather than height. What we had in vertical lines, it creates an illusion of shorter and wider objects. And here you can see me in the plain dress where I look taller and slimmer, I mean on the left side, since the line on the right side divides and shortens the silhouette. I'm not saying that the horizontal lines are not good, because if you know where to place the horizontal line, it can make flattering silhouette as well. So let's check the rectangulars first. The boxes on the left and right look the slimmest, while the box that has been cut in the half, right in the middle, looks the widest. And once again, the same dress, same model, just the placement of the line differs. The rule is, the longer an eye travels up or down a body before it is interrupted with a horizontal line, the taller and leaner you look. Therefore, I look the best here on the left and the right sides. If you want your hips to look smaller, avoid jackets which ends directly in the widest part of your hips. And maybe you should consider tucking in the blouse in your high-waisted pants. What about the horizontal stripes? Here, once again, the placement of the stripes is very, very important. So on this dress, you can see that the wider the lines are, the heavier effect it creates. The bottom of my body looks heavier comparing to the upper part of my body. Okay, so a lot of things are going on here. I think it would be great seeing the examples once again with vertical and plain, plain and horizontal dresses to remind ourselves what is what. Vertical line dress compared to the plain dress elongates and slims the body. Horizontal line dress shortens and widens body shape. To wrap everything up, there is a bunch of other illusions that you can create using different patterns, colors, silhouettes. But today I wanted to show you just how you can transform your body shape with different lines. Clothes can be a very powerful tool to trick your eye and if you know how to use this tool, you can create a little bit more flattering body shape. If you don't know how to do that, you should stick to my channel because in the future videos I will be talking about different body shapes and how you can dress the best for your body shape. Stay tuned and don't forget to check my videos and see you very soon. Bye!